And Jesus was praying. Even today, Jesus is praying for us and interceding for us in the right hand of the Father. Now, let me tell you, when he said, go across, the word had the power, had the, 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 the life saving to take them across. But many times, we also behave like the disciples. Because little, we have the word of God in us. We have the, the, the rhema word of God in us. But when we go and face the storms of life, when we face the challenges in our business, we face the challenges in our workplace, we change the, challenge, the challenges of our marriage, we change, we face the challenges of other situations of life, we tend to give up. We tend to look for plan B. We become frustrated. Even when Jesus walks to a situation, sometimes we don't feel him. We don't understand. We feel like he's not the one. We behave the same way the disciples behaved. They said, he is a ghost. He's not, he's not the one. But there is only one thing that Peter did. He said, oh Lord, if you are the one, then command. He didn't say, pick me from the boat. He said, command. What Peter understood. Peter had the remember. He understood the mystery. There is a mystery in Peter that the other men in the boat did not understand. Because others were saying, oh, he said, God, they were trying to figure out who the Lord was. But Peter understood one thing. If it is Jesus, then there is one thing that he will do. He will command. And when the command comes to me, I take the word of the command. I walk over principalities in my life. It is not Jesus to pick your hand. It is the word I come to tell you this morning. If you get the word of the Lord into your heart, it will take you across the sea. If you get the word of the Lord in your heart, your business will progress. No matter the opposition, no matter the wind, no matter the challenge, it's your only need to hear the command, come and you shall come. Do you know what happened? As they were coming, as, as he, was, he was coming out of the boat, you read the Bible, the disciples were telling him, Peter, don't do it, please. It, no one has ever done it. Don't do it. Peter is risky. And you know, they were still shouting. When Peter went out of the boat and he walked, they shouted, oh, the waves is coming. And he turned to look at the wave. He sank. Let me tell you. If you get the word of the Lord today, you don't have to look at the challenges. You don't have to look at the storms that is coming of life. You've got to concentrate on Jesus and look at Jesus and walk across to him. Oh, hallelujah. No power that is meant to kill your life. Every storm of life, you shall overcome it in the name of Jesus. There is no challenge that is meant to kill you. It's meant to open your eyes. If one door is shut, the Lord shall open another one. Now some of us are troubled. Oh, oh, nimefutwa kasi. Oh, kasi imesha mungu. Oh, uko api. We, mungu yuko kwa. God is in the seat of throne. If one door is locked, the word is when one door is locked, the command is another door. So we unatoka tu unasema, God, I thank you for the new door. I thank you because when one is shut by man, you shall open another one. 